It is getting down to the wire as Mizzou football practices for their upcoming bowl game against North Carolina in the Independence Bowl. We were at practice this morning inside Divine Pavilion. Coach Pinkle told us afterwards he was pleased with the guys' efforts, calling it a very physical practice. Pinkle said he sees them getting more and more into the game plan. And at the end of practice came the big highlight. When you got a guy uh, like Dan Hoke, who weighs 320 pounds playing free safety, uh, yeah, that's uh, it, it, it was it was it's fun fun and nobody got hurt so that was good too. What Coach Pinkle is talking about is the big man seven on seven where the offensive line and the defensive line go at it. There's Jimmy Burge playing quarterback for the defensive line. He only made one completion on the day. That was Dan Hoke again all over the coverage. That little guy was our big fan. We were playing football with him upstairs. Anyways, offensive line just came out roaring. That was Austin Webbles to Max Copeland who was able to get a, maybe a first down there. But then check out the big one of the day. That is Quinn Brown with the touchdown. And on, laying on the ground in defeat with Sheldon Richardson. Just couldn't, couldn't capture Quinn Brown. Quinn Brown's too good, too good for this situation. I caught up with the winning team. Afterwards, here's what they had to say. I started off looking off to my right to get the defenders to think I'm going right. And it just came natural. I seen Quinn going out for the post, and I just laid it to him. Did you know it was going to be a touchdown? Oh, of course I did. It was down the last play of the game, and I just told him I was going to go to the corner of the end zone, throw it up, and I'd run under it. And it all worked out like planned. So. Is there a, how did you feel when you caught it? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> felt like I just won the Super Bowl. I just started running around. Everybody was chasing me. It was, it was pretty awesome. Was it nice that all, the, all your offensive guys came over and gave you a big hug? Yeah, that was the best part because I uh, just get to celebrate with my team and everything. I don't think we've ever won uh, a big man 7-on-7 seven seven since I got here, so it was pretty cool to get to do it my senior year and everything. Are you going to try to talk Pinkle and Delaney and play some wide receivers? I might try and talk him into it. I might get some guys behind it and try and get me a pass player or two in the bowl game, but probably not going to happen. That was a great throw, and uh, I think that, uh, you know, it's, it was a uh, you know, he was holding the ball early, and, and, and I tried to remind, remind those guys, those, those, those linemen as they're the quarterbacks, is that everybody's best friend uh, in that stadium is the backup quarterback. So I just try to put a little pressure on him. Coach Finkel, the guy cheering in the background was Elvis Fisher, our new best friend. Well, you may remember Coach Pinkle.